Biohazard is an American band formed in Brooklyn, New York, in 1987. They are acknowledged as one of the earliest bands to fuse hardcore punk and heavy metal with elements of hip hop. The earliest lineup consisted of bassist vocalist Evan Seinfeld, guitarist Bobby Hamble, and drummer Anthony Mio. Guitarist vocalist Billy Graziade would join the band soon after, changing the band to a four piece. Since February 2016, the lineup has consisted of Graziade, Hamble, and Danny Schuler. Topic History. Topic <laughs> Early Years. The band formed in Brooklyn in 1987. Their first demo, released in 1988, caused a stir with journalists who felt that some of the band's lyrics displayed fascist and white supremacist views, overlooking that both Seinfeld and Schuler were, themselves, Jewish. The accusations of racism in their music were something strenuously denied by the band but in later interviews, Seinfeld and Graziade explained that it had been a publicity stunt to win over the band Carnivore and their fans. Additionally, Seinfeld has defended the lyrics of songs such as, Master Race, and America as metaphors meant to shock and get the listener's attention and maintains that the band was never racist. The band has long since preached a message of tolerance and anti-racism. After the release of the first demo, Anthony Mio left the band and drummer Danny Schuler replaced him. A second demo tape followed in 1989. Although Biohazard never truly considered themselves a hardcore band, Biohazard often found themselves sharing stages with bands associated with the New York hardcore scene, such as the Crow Mags and Agnostic Front. They also shared stages with the New Jersey band Mucky Pup and a friendship between the two bands developed. Topic. Maze Records In 1990, Biohazard signed a recording contract with Maze Records. The band's self-titled debut album was poorly promoted by the label and sold approximately 40,000 copies. The album's subject matter revolved around Brooklyn, gang wars, drugs, and violence. One year after the release of their debut album, Seinfeld and Graziade contributed vocals to the song, Three Dead Gophers, from Mucky Pup's third album, Now. The album was released on Roadrunner Records, who would soon release Biohazard's second album. Topic: <inaudible> Roadrunner Records. In 1992, Biohazard signed with Roadrunner Records and released Urban Discipline, which gave the band national and worldwide attention in both the heavy metal and hardcore communities. The video for the song, Punishment, became the most played video in the history of MTV's Headbangers Ball, and the album sold over one million copies. The band also began opening for larger acts such as House of Pain, Sick of It All, Fishbone, and Caius. In 1993, the hardcore rap group Onyx recorded an alternate, Bionyx, version of their hit single, Slam, with Biohazard as their backup band. 
This led to a collaboration on the title track of the Judgment Night soundtrack. The soundtrack would go on to sell over 2 million copies in the United States. Topic: <laughs> Warner Brothers Months later, the band left Roadrunner Records and signed with Warner Brothers Records Inc., who released their third studio LP, State of the World Address. The album was produced by Ed Stasium in Los Angeles and contained the single, How It Is, featuring Sin Dog of Cypress Hill, for which a video was also shot. During their 1994 tour, the band made an appearance on the second stage at the Monsters of Rock Festival held at Castle Donington. State of the World Address went on to sell over one million copies, and Rolling Stone magazine selected the Biohazard logo as the best logo of the year. This was the last Biohazard album with Bobby Hamble, who left due to differences with the rest of the band. Hamble spent time in White Devil, also featuring members of the Crow Mags, before seemingly leaving the music business entirely. In late 1995, the band, along with Therapy, and Gunshot, contributed remixes to the pitch shifter album The Remix War. The band recorded their fourth studio album, Mata Leao, as a three-piece in 1996. It was produced with the help of Dave Jordan. For the 1996–97 Mata Leao tour, the band hired former Helmet guitarist Rob Echevarria. The band also played on the Ozfest mainstage alongside Ozzy Osbourne, Slayer, Danzig, Fear Factory, and Sepultura. While touring Europe in support of the Mata Leao album, the band recorded their Hamburg, Germany, show for their first live album, No Holds Barred, live in Europe, which was released in 1997 through their former label, Roadrunner Records. In 1998, Seinfeld began his acting career playing Jazz Hoyt on HBO's award-winning series Oz. The character was introduced in the second season and appeared throughout the series' sixth and final season. Topic Mercury Records The band signed to Mercury Records and released their fifth studio album, New World Disorder, in 1999, once again with Ed Stasium as a producer. The relationship with Mercury Records soured quickly as the band felt betrayed and misunderstood by the label. They severed their ties with the label amidst the merger of Mercury Records, Island Records, Def Jam Records, and Polygram into the Universal Music Group. In 2000, the band continued to tour Europe and Japan, without the support of a record label or management. In 2001, the band released a compilation album titled Tales from the B Side. The album consisted of various B-sides and remixes from various eras in the band's recording history. The album was released by the Phantom Sound and Vision label. After the release of Tales from the B-side, Rob Echevarria resigned from the band in order to get married. Leo Curley, of Outline and All Means Necessary, was hired as his replacement. Topic: <laughs> SPV Sanctuary Records. In the same year, Biohazard signed two new record deals with SPV, Steamhammer in Europe and Sanctuary Records for the remainder of the world. 
Despite the new record deals, the band took some personal time in order to work on other projects. Graziade briefly formed a trip hop project with Jennifer Bear of the Ohio band Hilo. After writing and recording approximately 20 songs for the project named Blue, Bear relocated to Los Angeles, California to continue an art career and the project dissolved. Graziade also began work on a book, Tales from the Hard Side. Schuler used his downtime to perform with New York band Among Thieves as a replacement drummer for the departing Will Shepler. Graziade and Schuler also collaborated in transforming the band's rehearsal Brooklyn studio into a digital recording studio, known as Rat Piss Studios and soon after changed the name to Underground Sound Studios. Reinvesting into the band, Graziade and Schuler honed their engineering and production skills while recording and producing local acts and new biohazard demos. The band then undertook the process of writing, recording, and producing their own music. Their studio work led to the band's sixth studio album, Uncivilization, released in September 2001. The album featured several guest appearances by members of bands such as Agnostic Front, Hatebreed, Pantera, Slipknot, Sepultura, Cypress Hill, Scarhead, and Type O Negative. Shortly after the release of Uncivilization, Leo Curley left the band to focus on writing his own music. He was replaced by former Nucleus member Carmen Vincent, who had previously toured with Biohazard as part of their road crew. In 2002, Seinfeld became engaged to porn star Tara Patrick. Patrick had never heard of Seinfeld prior to seeing one of his nude scenes on Oz. After making several phone calls, Patrick was able to contact Seinfeld, who had never heard of her either, and the two began dating. The band had to cancel scheduled European festival dates when Carmen Vincent underwent major surgery. The band did manage to find a temporary guitarist, Scott Roberts, formerly of the Crow Mags and the Spud Monsters, in time to join the East Pack Resistance Tour with Agnostic Front, Hatebreed, Discipline, Death Threat, Born from Pain and All Boro Kings. Biohazard completed their seventh studio album in 17 days, Kill or Be Killed was released in 2003. While touring North America with Kitty, Brand New Sin and 18 Visions, Biohazard announced that Roberts would remain as their permanent lead guitarist. The tour was curtailed when it was announced that Seinfeld had fallen ill. With more downtime due to Seinfeld's illness, Graziade and Schuler collaborated to mix Life of Agony's live comeback album, River Runs Again, Live 2003. Once Seinfeld was healthy again, the band toured Japan and North America, headlining over bands such as Hatebreed, Agnostic Front, Throwdown, and Full Blown Chaos. Once home, Seinfeld began recording and circulating demos for his own trip-hop project named Triple Six. For a brief time, Graziade and his wife moved to Brazil where their daughter was born. While there, Graziade struck up a friendship with drummer Fernandão Schaefer. After jamming together in the studio, Schaefer formed the band Inc. which Graziade would eventually produce and later join. It wasn't long before Inc. was renamed Indra and an EP titled Demonstration was released. 
Once Graziadei returned to New York City, the logistical problems of traveling back and forth caused Graziadei to quit Indra. In early 2004, Graziadei teamed up with Gabber DJ Rob G to help write and produce his music. When a few albums were completed, Graziadei joined Schuler, Roberts, DJ Starscream, aka Sid Wilson of Slipknot, Jeff Anthony, and Keith Rooney, both of Guttrench, to form AMPT. The band combined gabber music with hardcore and heavy metal. After writing several songs and putting together a live band, Graziadei and Schuler left the project in order to continue with Biohazard. AMPT has gone through several additional lineup changes since. Also in 2004, Seinfeld, now residing in Los Angeles, California, married his fiancée of two years, Tara Patrick. By the end of 2004, the band had begun recording its eighth studio album, Means to an End. The completed album was lost in a studio disaster, forcing the band to completely re-record the album, which was finally released in August 2005. Topic: <laughs> Temporarily disbanded. In the meantime, Graziadei had formed another new band with former members of Kit and the Groovenix. Originally named Rodek, the band eventually changed their name to Suicide City. In October 2004, Graziadei announced that Means to an End had been the final Biohazard album and that he would continue playing with Suicide City as his main focus. One month later, on the Biohazard website, it was announced that there would in fact be a 2005 Biohazard tour. On December 15, Seinfeld and Graziadei participated in the Roadrunner United conglomerate event at the Nokia Theater in New York City for an all-star event. The show opened with Biohazard's Punishment. Performed by Seinfeld, Graziadei, Sapel Turas Andreas Kisser, former Fear Factory member Dino Cazares, and Slipknot's Joey Jordison. In 2005, Seinfeld and Patrick formed the Terra Patrick Agency with the goal of representing talent in both the adult and mainstream entertainment business. That same year, Suicide City released their first EP, Not My Year, and continued to tour as an opening act for acts such as Danzig, Taking Back Sunday, Mindless Self-Indulgence, Otep and Guar. The band's full-length album, Frenzy, followed in 2009. In January 2006, Danny Schuler announced his resignation from Biohazard and the formation of Bloodclot with singer John Joseph of the Crow Mags, guitarist Scott Roberts and bassist Craig Satari of Sick of It All. Roberts later announced that he would also be leaving the band to focus on Bloodclot with Schuler. That same month, Graziadei announced that Biohazard would not go on a farewell tour after all. Graziadei and Schuler relocated their recording studio to South Amboy, New Jersey and renamed it Underground Sound Studios. The studio was renovated to include a live room with 20-foot ceilings and 4,000 square feet square meters of studio space. After Schuler's departure from the studio business, Graziadei relocated the studio to Los Angeles and changed the name to Firewater Studios. 
In February 2006, Seinfeld participated in the filming of Supergroup, a VH1 reality television series also starring Ted Nugent, Scott Ian, Sebastian Bach and Jason Bonham as a supergroup named Damnocracy. The show debuted on May 21, 2006. In March 2007, Evan Seinfeld debuted his new band, The Spiders, as an opening act for a Buckcherry performance. The band was originally named White Line Fever, until it was discovered that a UK band already owned the name. The Spiders also featured guitarist John Monty, formerly of Ministry and M.O.D. In October 2008, Seinfeld also briefly joined Tattooed Millionaires as a bassist and co-vocalist. Seinfeld and Tara Patrick separated in 2009 and divorced in 2010. Topic: Reunion and departure of Seinfeld. In January 2008, the classic lineup of Evan Seinfeld, Billy Graziadei, Danny Schuler, and Bobby Hamble made the announcement that rehearsals had begun for a 2008 summer tour to commemorate the band's 20th anniversary. They toured Australia and New Zealand in April with Chimera, Throwdown, Blood Simple and Headliners Corn to celebrate their newly declared reunion. The band also took part in Persistence Tour 2009, and announced at one of their shows that they were working on a new record. It was also noted that the album would be dedicated to Type O negative frontman Peter Steele who died in April 2010. Biohazard brought in producer Toby Wright to work on the album and after several months at Graziadei's Firewater Studios in Los Angeles, the band completed their recording sessions. In June 2011, Biohazard announced that they had amicably parted ways with Evan Seinfeld. Scott Roberts returned to replace Seinfeld for two UK dates but no decision regarding a permanent replacement was made. In August 2011, the band announced that they were searching for a full-time singer to replace Seinfeld and opened auditions to the public. In September 2011, three months after his departure from Biohazard, Seinfeld joined Los Angeles-based heavy metal band, Attica 7, which also featured Tony Campos, formerly of Soulfly and Static X, and Rusty Coons. Attica 7 began recording their debut album for THC Music, Rocket Science in February 2012. After several lineup changes, including the departure of Campos, the band's debut album, Blood of My Enemies, was released in 2013. Seinfeld also continues to work in adult entertainment as Spider Jones, most notably through his production company, Iron Cross Entertainment and Terravision, the production company he co-owns with his former wife, Tara Patrick, as well as his own Rockstar Porn Star. Website. In January 2012, the band decided that Scott Roberts would remain with the band as a permanent member. The new album, Reborn in Defiance, was released worldwide, with the exception of North America, on January 20, 2012, through the Nuclear Blast label. The band originally planned to offer a digital edition of the album as a free download for American fans on the same date but those plans were cancelled at the last moment. The album never received a United States label partner or release.
In support of the album, Biohazard embarked on a short co-headlining tour of Europe with suicidal tendencies in the latter half of January 2012. The band arrived in Belgium to begin the tour on January 20 where abruptly, Scott Roberts was rushed to the hospital. After going through several tests and receiving no answers concerning his ailment, Roberts checked himself out of the hospital in time to perform with the band. After their set, Roberts was rushed back to the hospital. Roberts was released from the hospital in time to continue on with the tour at the next stop in Oberhausen, Germany, on January 21. On January 22, Schuler left the tour to in order to return home and be with his wife for the birth of their baby. Danny La Magna of Sworn Enemy and Suicide City stepped in to replace Schuler until he was able to return. In July 2015, Schuler indicated that the band was actively working on a new album. On February 10, 2016, the band announced that previously scheduled upcoming shows had been cancelled, and that Scott Roberts was no longer a member of the band. In December 2017, Roberts clarified that he had quit the band due to not getting along with one of the other members and not enjoying being in the band anymore. On June 23, 2017, the debut album from Graziade's new band Powerflow was released. Graziade formed the band with Sin Dog of Cypress Hill, Rogelio Lozano of Downset, and Christian Old Wolbers of Fear Factory. A follow-up EP titled Bring That Shit Back followed in June 2018. Coinciding with the EP's release, it was also announced that Graziade would be releasing a solo album later in the year, under the name Billy Bio. It was also stated that Billy Bio would serve as the opening act on the European Dates of Life of Agony's Rise of the Underground Tour in October. The first Billy Bio album, Feed the Fire, was released on November 30, 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Band members. Timeline. Topic: Discography. <laughs> 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 Topic Studio Albums Topic Live Albums Topic Compilations Topic Demos Topic Singles Topic Featured Singles Topic Music Videos Panic Attack, 1990. Punishment, 1992. Shades of Grey, 1992. Slam by Onyx Remix, Onyx featuring Biohazard, 1993. Judgment Night, recorded with Onyx, 1993. Five Blocks to the Subway, 1994. How It Is, 1994. T 
Tales from the Hard Side, 1994. After Forever, Black Sabbath Cover, 1995. Authority, 1996. A Lot to Learn, 1996. Sellout, 2001. Vengeance is Mine, 2012.